Hey guys, Happy New Year. I hope you have had a wonderful holiday. I know I certainly have and during this holiday I've been working on my blog and my channel giving it a little facelift which I hope you guys like and planning out new things for the new year so I have a ton of new ideas and a ton of new products to review try out and make new looks for so I'm really really excited about that and to kickstart my new facelift for my channel and the new year, I have decided to do a video that I have never done on my channel before. So what I've got in store for you today is a first impressions review of just one brand. So I bought a whole ton of items from one brand and with this brand I'm going to create a look and do a first impressions review of the items. So the brand I have chosen to do today is Napoleon Purtis set. As you can see, this whole entire box is just full of their products. So what Napoleon Purtis set is, is it is the Napoleon Purtis brand, but in a much more affordable version. So I've bought a few of their items here. I've got the set, it takes two concealer and foundation pot. I have got the baked powder in pink. I have the Pre-Foundation Pore Perfecting Primer, Contour and Highlight Palette, I've got a mascara here which is the Passarella Mascara, I've also got the Passarella Powder Foundation, Ooh, emptying out the box slowly but surely, this is the Bronze Blush and Go Duo, I also have the concealer and four lipsticks so that was what I bought um, and I'm really really excited to give these a go I have tried a couple of items from the Napoleon Purvis set range before I have tried the mascara and the lipstick and the baked powder but that was quite some time ago so I thought I'd give this brand another shot and try way more items to decide whether I like the brand as a whole or not and obviously to review the items for you guys as well so without further ado let's get started Alright, so let's get started with the Pre-Foundation Pore Perfecting Primer. So I was reading some reviews online and apparently this one is the best for oily skin, so let's give it a go. It does say it is moisturizing on the back though, so um, I'm not too sure how this will work, but let's just see. Oh, <laughs> forgot to peel off the aluminium. There we go. Okay, so just squeeze out a little bit first because I don't know how this will spread. So it is a clear, it's a clear liquid. So let's see if that will focus. There we go. So it's just a clear silicone feeling liquid. I'm just applying this. feels pretty absorbed and let's see my pores are slightly more filled in but it does feel quite oily on my skin right now so I'm not too sure how that will fan out during the day all right, now let's try the foundation. This is the Napoleon Set It Takes Two Concealer and Foundation Pot in the shade Set to Medium. So I bought medium because my skin tone is of a medium tone. And this seems like it has enough yellow pigments, though I can see some pink in there as well. So let's try this out. Okay, so it is a twist top with like a little spoon thing. Um, I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I prefer a pump, but let's just give this a go. There's also a little, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but there's like a little hole that sort of cleans the spoon so you don't have too much product on it. So just putting some in the back of my hand. Hopefully it's not too much. That seems like it's a pump's worth. And I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender sponge 
to work this into my skin. This foundation has a really weird smell. It smells like, it smells like um, corn flour with paint thinner. I don't know, it's really strange. Alright guys, so I've used up all the product on my hand and that was way more than enough. This foundation is actually really full coverage. I'm not sure if you noticed, but it's a tiny bit light for my skin tone. But once I blended it down my neck, you can't even tell, so it works really well. I actually think that it oxidized a little bit since I ran around and it suits my skin a little bit more than it did when I first applied it, so... That is always a plus. I did put some under my eyes just slightly and um, it did cover up my dark circles relatively well. I actually think that if you built up the foundation underneath your eyes you wouldn't need a concealer for any under eye circles but um, we are still going to try a concealer so why not? So this is what the concealer looks like on the top. It's a pretty little star. I'm actually not sure if I want to try this or not um, because I did purchase a different concealer to use. I'll just try giving it a little swell. This one feels really thin and light and creamy. So it might crease if I put this under my eye. So I'm not going to Let's see if there's anything that needs concealing on my face. This foundation is quite full coverage, so I don't really see much I need to conceal other than probably this blemish and the scar here, so let's just try that. I actually take it back, this concealer is quite brightening, so maybe it is going to be good under the eyes. Let's just tap what's left on my finger. It doesn't feel high coverage enough for under the eyes but it does have a really nice brightening factor so maybe this could be used as a base underneath the concealer and that would work really well but not as a concealer by itself so I'm actually going to try and use the concealer stick pen thing that I bought instead so this is the Napoleon concealer in the shade look 2 which is medium um, oh it's a pen that's really weird. I didn't expect that. Let me try and focus this camera. There we go. So it's a concealer pen that I assume you have to click up. Oh, there we go. It's moving up slowly. And there it is. So that is what the product looks like. And that shade looks like it'll be okay, so I'm just going to apply it straight under my eyes. I like that it's quite yellow toned, that's always a plus. I don't really like the applicator though, it's quite a um, hard sponge applicator. So I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to blend in this concealer as well. That blends out really nicely. It's really smooth and emollient. Feels great. It's really lightweight too. I might actually apply a little bit of that concealer onto my um, little pimple thing as well. See how that works out. <laughs> I think for a base, this looks pretty good. I really do like that foundation. It feels really nice um, and quite full coverage. And it does look really skin-like as well, which is always a plus. And the concealer is pretty good as well, in my opinion. I think it cancelled out the dark circles relatively well. Though I might do one more layer because I do feel that it is starting to poke through a little bit more now that the concealer has settled. Alright, I think I'm happy with that concealer now. It's really strange because the concealer smells really nice and sweet, but the foundation smelt really um strange and kind of artificial. 
and paint like so definitely do not like the smell of the foundation but love the smell of the concealer so I don't know all right let's set this makeup I'm going to be using the passerella powder foundation in the shade set for medium it's actually really pretty and um, it does come with a little sponge applicator as well I love the starry design I think that is something that Napoleon sort of trademarked for his Napoleon set brand. It looks really cute and cool. Alright, so I'm going to not be using the sponge applicator. I'm going to be using a big powder brush. So this is just my Real Techniques powder brush and I'm just going to press the powder onto my skin to set my makeup. Alright, the powder was actually really nice. I do like the tone of this. It is super duper yellow toned and yellow toned powders are definitely my thing because my skin tone is very yellow toned as well so this definitely is a really nice foundation I'm not sure how I would use it as a full powder foundation only because I haven't really used full powder foundation ever I've always done liquid and powder so um, I'm not too sure how this would work as a full powder foundation, but it definitely looks nice setting my makeup. It doesn't look cakey at all. It looks really natural actually, and it's not a full matte finish. It is a semi-matte finish, so there is a nice glowy sheen on the high points of my face, um, but nothing that looks oily. It's just a sheen, so it's semi-matte. Alright, next items. What should I try next? Let's check out this um, contour and highlight palette. So this is the palette. Looks really nice and pretty and white, which is really nice and um, classy looking, but I'm not too sure how I feel about white packaging because powders and lipsticks and blush, everything in general has a lot of color in it. And if you touch white, it just sort of transfers and stains it. So I don't know how I feel about the white packaging, but it does look really nice and sleek and classy. So that's always good. So this is the contour and highlight palette. And as you can see, it has the contour shade, highlight, blush, and another more pinkier highlight. So that's more um, pearlescent. And this one's just slightly more pink. Um, I actually want to compare it to the, what is this called? Bronze and Blush Go Duo. Bronze, Blush and Go Duo. So, I just want to use the darker bronzer, which is why I want to double check which one is going to be better. So this one just has a semi-circle thing of um, blush and bronzer. And both of these bronzers actually look almost identical, so I'm just going to use the one from the contour palette. I'm going to grab a Real Techniques contour brush. And this actually fits really perfectly into the palette. Not doing too much contouring, more just bronzing the cheeks. And just giving it a little bit more shape. I actually don't think that this palette is the best for darker, medium to darker skinned people because as you can see it's kind of just blending right into my skin tone. So it is a little bit light for me. Mm, that's a bugger. Let's try the other one just to see the difference. The other one is slightly lighter. So I guess I can't really use this to contour, but just as a slight sort of bronze on the skin, it does work I guess. This is definitely a really nice bronzer though, it's really nice and finely milled. Um, both of the bronzers from both sets are really nicely milled, um, they're really smooth. So if you do have a fairer skin tone, this would definitely be a really nice 
um, bronzer slash contour thing to get. For deeper skin tones, this is just a nice sort of bronzer to get to warm up the skin but not to really contour with at all because as you can see it's very similar to my actual skin tone. I am going to try the blush though. Let's see. This blush is slightly more um, peachy and this one is slightly more rose toned so I am going to go with the more rose toned one because I love rosy blushes. Let's see how pigmented this is. That is quite pigmented. It looks really good. The blush matches my skin tone really nicely. Alright, what to use next? Might try some highlighter. Mm, not too sure if I want to try this pink one or not. Maybe I'll try the blush from this pink one just a little bit to see how it looks. This one definitely has um, more of a sheen to it compared to the other blush in the other palette. They both look good. Alright, let's try this highlighter. So I'm just going to rub my brush on the back of my wrist, get rid of the pink shade, and use a little bit of the highlight. So I'm just squeezing the bristles flat. Just grabbing a little bit. Okay, so it's not too strong of a highlight, but it is a nice subtle highlight. Um, that is definitely quite universal, so I do like that one. Now, let's move on to mascara. So this is the Passerella Mascara. doesn't really have a scent which is good and it's got a decently big brush not as big as the benefit bad girl but definitely pretty big in size just brushing that through I'm not sure if you can tell but it doesn't really do too much for the lashes to be honest it doesn't really lengthen or volumize my lashes too much at all it just makes them a little bit darker so there's nothing particularly special about this mascara, unfortunately. I find that because the brush has a lot of bristles, it does make it easy to layer up the mascara without it looking clumpy. It does actually look a lot better with the second layer on, um, but not my favourite mascara for sure. So the last thing we're going to try is these lipsticks. I'm not sure which shade I want to use. I bought four of them. They're in the shades Gold Coast, Hong Kong, Madrid, and Noosa. Might go for a nice red, since red is my favourite lipstick shade. Okay, so this is what the lipstick looks like. There we go. It's got the colour on the top, and that is the tube. And this is the shade. So this one was Madrid. And as you can see, it's a really nice brick red shade. Okay, let's put it on. Ooh, these are really pigmented and creamy. Okay, now that I've got lipstick everywhere but my lips, I'm going to give this a nice blot. Alright guys, so that is it for all the products that I purchased. I definitely have to say, first impressions wise, I am in love with the Napoleon Purtis set products. I do love every single thing that I bought, however I do wish that the contour and bronzer shades were a little bit darker so that I could actually use them for contouring. Other than that, everything else in the range was completely awesome and really high in quality. I especially love the foundation. I think it looks really beautiful on my skin. It's quite high coverage, yet it looks really natural and skin-like, so that's always a plus. Definitely my favourite product that I bought so far from the Napoleon set range. Um, yeah, I'm going to be using these products over the next week because I have the type of skin that sort of needs a week to react to a product and tell me whether it loves it or not, whether the product will make me break out, make me oilier or drier, 
all that sort of stuff. So I do need a week to have my full review and decide whether I love the products or not. So if you are interested in hearing my thoughts, definitely click the subscribe button because I will be posting a video next week with my full in-depth review of the Napoleon Purtis set. Products. Other than that, if you are interested in seeing how I did my nails for this video, I do have a link down below to my nail art post on my blog to show you how I made this look. I think it's totally beautiful and definitely really summer appropriate because it's bright and fun and just makes you happy when you look at it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you soon. Bye!